Hey, you guys, we are back um, with our lunchtime reading. Our lunchtime reading is going to be a um, what your person thinks of you um, reading, what your person is thinking about you, feeling about you. Um, so this is going to be a love reading um, about your person. Um, so... I know that I don't do a lot of these very often, but it is April and it's almost time for summertime. And y'all know how y'all be on hot girl summer. <laughs> so um, I'm wanting to pull up some stuff for you guys um, for what your person is thinking about um, when it comes to you. And um, I'm going to start off by pulling up some energy cards. About what with our astrology deck. I hope everyone is having a great day. I am on my lunch break, but I wanted to get this across. Um, I am still doing my drawing tonight, mm -hmm. um, where I'm going to be pulling off everyone's names that comments on. The last three posts that I've made, everyone that comments on those page are on the last three posts. I will do a randomizer where it picks one person's name and I will do a reading strictly for them tonight. It will be free. Um, it'll probably be about 1030 tonight because I get off at nine and I usually try to get an hour to myself before I do anything um, with all the energies and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and get your read started. So I'm going to get this deck shuffled. Please forgive me for smoking, but it is my lunch break. So I want to try to enjoy. Um, just make sure that you please comment. I will also put my YouTube channel at the bottom um, in the comment section as well. Um, so that you guys have the opportunity to follow me on YouTube. Um, sometimes I post videos that are strictly on YouTube and I do not come to Facebook with them. So astrology cards, you are getting the Mar some Mars energy right now um, from the person that is your person that you are um, thinking about, the person that is the person for you um, or that you are caring about at this moment. Um, it's telling you that their physical energy and drive and strength um, and they are in a fighting spirit at this point in time. Um, there is a lot of fi fiery energy that is here um, coming from that person. I'm also getting some Taurus energy. Um, it is letting me know um, that the energy around you at this time does show very abundance um, in nature. Hey, Sorak baby. Um, it does show a lot of abundant nature um, with this person. It also is showing that there is some rich, rich and earthy and productivity, um, that is going on, but it's telling you as a person, um, to, to stay relaxed and, and slow down. Um, cause maybe your person is moving too fast for you. Um, you also got the 12th house. This is the area of your light, uh, um, of your life that, um, becomes overwhelming. Um, but it's telling you that, you yield a greater cause um, or power. So there is like greater energy or greater um, purpose that is coming through this connection with you and this person. Um, with the energy there, we also are going to go ahead and get some of our general tarot as well. Hello, hello, hello. You guys, make sure that you do comment below. Um, because I am going to be doing a drawing tonight from all three of the posts that I posted on live today that is in the group as well. Um, all of those posts, if you comment on those videos, and I am going to be drawing some names. Um, and I'm going to pull about five names, but I'm going to only do one person per day um, for the drawing. But those five names that I pick from this week's reads... Um, will be the five people that get the free read. 
Um, and I will do it on live, which they will be able to join on live with me if they want. I prefer them to so that I can pull up into pull into their personal energy a lot more as well. Um, so just make sure that you definitely comment on the video. All right. So your person is feeling like they are um, bound and tied into a situation. They feel like they're being um, misled or um, led into the unknown because they, they feel like they can't see what's for coming um, with you and with, with how you guys are working out relationship wise. Um, they also feel as if they're juggling more than one thing. They may be having trouble um, balancing out work and um, relationship time with you, which makes it seem to you as if they're not interested in you. In reality, um, they're just having a trouble juggling, making the time and making enough time for you and them. Um, you did get they, they, this person did receive um, the Knight of Pentacles as well for your person. Um, your person is also, you know, they're very strong and very dependent. They've got their money together. Um, they, they are generally a, a lot about their money, but um, they mo generally move into things really fast. But you yourself um, are more of a patient person um, generally when it comes to love and it comes to relationship. Um, but they, they know what they want. They know exactly what they want um, with that Knight of Pentacles energy. They have been through a lot. They've been broken. Um, you've got a Nine of Wands there. And that is our battered, you know, our, our wounded warrior um, energy. Like, they, they, they're wounded. They were very strong throughout all of their battles. But they were wounded. They were hurt. So it's hard for them to let people in um, and to be open with communication. Um, they also got the Page of Cups. So they're learning to, to be more in touch with their feelings. They're learning to be more communicative about how they feel. Um, I feel some Pisces energies here um, as well with this. There may also be some Scorpio energy being with the Nine of Wands. Um, they are telling um, this person is very strong and they're telling them to continue to be strong um, with the strength because they are getting the strength card. And it seems like you may actually be what tames them um, with a lot of things and a lot of actions that they are. Because look at this strength card. You know, this is beautiful woman holding on. You know, she's petting into this mane. <clears throat> she's, she's been able to put a whole wreath of flowers around his neck without being bit. Um, and, and, and that's something that you yourself are not used to. You're not used to being the one that is a person's calm. Um, but with this person coming in and they, they have very strong energy, um, with the, the King of Wands, I'm also getting some, um, Taurus energy here. Taurus energy has been throwing it up a lot, um, over my last couple of reads as well. Um, but then they, they also feel like they have to be a chameleon. Like they have to hide who they are, um, in reality, for people to love them, but they're, they're just wanting someone to love them for who, for who they are. Um, with this Ace of Cups energy, this is going to be a great relationship for you. This person is going to be great for you. Just do not rush into it, but it is going to be in the long haul. Um, great for love. Look, look at this Ace of Cups with this heart at the top of it. Um, and you know, spilling out emotion and, and water and the sign you see it's, it's going, it's flow, literally flowing from, coming out of heaven almost. This is a divine connection that is going to be coming up for you. Uh, I don't know if, if you're already in this situation with this person or if this person is going to be coming into your life. Nope, this person is going to be coming into your life because um, it's, it's going, it's in a moving forward direction. With this, it's it's moving forward um, versus moving backwards um, with the, these Eight of Wands. Um, a lot of your mind has been on the past previously before, but you are um, moving fastly into some new direction. There's new direction that the person that you are thinking about is going into, and they're moving into it pretty fast. You know, they're on, the, on this motorcycle here. You know, they're burning rubber <laughs> on this motorcycle, but it's like they were stuck and stagnant and um, bad emotion and hurt. Um, like their heart chakras were kind of thrown off um, before meeting you. And then now meeting you, it's like you, you bring them happiness, you bring them um, contentment, but they are still having all that trouble balancing work and home. Yep. 
Um, and they're afraid that, that they don't have enough for you. They don't have enough to give you is what they're afraid of. And then they're wanting to, to, to provide things for you and to move them up. But they're afraid that they don't have enough to be able to provide to you, um, be it emotionally, um, mentally or financially with what it looks like to me is financially. But they're they're building up on what they've got going on. They've been juggling work and, and home balance for quite some time. Oh yeah, you and this person um, have gone have gone through some journeys together. Um, it's almost as if, if you guys have both been kind of in the same place where you're you're walking through this this blizzard, this this cold front together, and you know where you've had a broken heart, they've had a broken heart, and then now you guys are meeting and you're trying to walk on this journey together, um, but you feel as if you are being blasted out. Um, are not being paid attention to. Do you see how one of the people are walking and they're kind of like walking with their head turned down, turned in the other direction from the other person? But the lady in the blue jacket is walking and she looks like she's been crying or still is crying. So, you know, there's been some spilt hurt that's been going on behind this. And with this, these five of pinnacles showing up, um, you know, there is work in progress being built and it's it's about being patient for it to come to come into to play. Um, for the month of April, patience has been like a very strong message all the way around the board. Yeah, definitely. Um, with the seven of swords coming in, the seven of swords energy always makes me feel like this is someone who's winning. This is someone who um, had to cut cut some ties off, leave some people behind. Uh, if you see how she's like got the, the other five swords in her hand, in her shoulder, she's got everything she needs for battle. Um, but she's leaving these other two swords and, and burdens behind her. Um, these are lessons that she let go of. Um, but she's carrying the stuff that was good, that was good about, about the lesson and walking away from it. So um, you felt like this person wasn't going to be walk away from their past, but they are. Um, they're, they're ready to walk away from their past to move forward with you. Um, we got the Emperor energy. This is definitely Capricorn and Virgo energy um, as well here. Um, with this Empire energy, um, the Empire is a leader. He's very um, headstrong and determined. Um, all about, you know, doing the right thing, treating, treating you like a lady, opening the doors. Um, and this, these cards are not gender specific. So if it's, if it's girl or female, um, you know, it, you know, stud, femme, all the above, um, this energy can still carry off and it, it come off as a masculine energy, um, where that they are, um, show, they show you, show a lot of chivalry. They, they're by, they buy gifts. They, you know, send you flowers. They, they do things to keep your eye and your attention on them. Um, because they, they are very attention needy. Um, and sometimes they feel like you, they're, they're, they're not capable of giving you the attention that you need. Um, we've also got the nine of pinnacles, which lets me know that the finances portion of this is going to go come come into play with your person. They're going to be get, reaping a harvest soon. Um, and if you stick it out, the if you stick this out, you're going to be able to see the harvest. You're going to be able to see the hard work that's been played. Like, look, at she's holding her carrots. Her strawberries are already blooming. You know, these pinnacles are growing up with it. So your money's going to be growing up. Their money is going to be glowing up. This is this is all of this whole connection is a glow up, is nothing but a glow up. Um, with the Wheel of Fortune card, it is a new beginning, and it's going to be a very good new beginning because you and this person are going to be able to um, communicate very well together. In the past, um, your past relationships, your past situations, you didn't get communication. You weren't getting the affection that you felt like you needed and deserved in, in your relationship because you were giving all. Um, at this point, this new person is going to be balancing that out. They're going to be your balance. Yes, the justice card came through. So yes, all of that wrongness that you guys had went through before, um, either with this person or with the person before you, um, for those of you who are still dealing with someone in the past, and then um, for those of you who are dealing with someone that's coming up and coming new with the justice card, it's it's like it's like Wayne, um, like what did little Wayne say? He's like Wayne, Wayne sins and forgiveness, um, and. 
bringing out your forgiveness. You have to be able to forgive yourself so that this can come through. Forgive yourself for what you went through before for, and anything that you part you may have played in, in, in what was going on before. Because you've learned your lessons and you, you've taken those lessons and you're moving forward into the new relationship. Or you're going to be rekindling that relationship that was there before, but rekindling it and doing it right this time where you guys both are on a better page and are both on a better mindset. Um, I always say the justice card generally comes out when there is um, was wrongdoing that was done to you before um, with this person or with the person that's coming up. And that is, is going to be giving you um, equal balance. It's going to be giving you um, all the blessings and the type of relationship that you should have had before. Oh, girl, yes. So... Um, we got the lover's card again. This is definitely gen gen Gemini energy with this lover card. You know, they've been battling with fighting with holding on to their heart. Like if you notice, they're protecting their heart. They're protecting their heart chakra because it's been broken so many times where they've given and given and given and was not giving getting back in return what they were given. So your person um, or persons, because there, I, I did see the two of pinnacles at the beginning where maybe you are balancing whether you're trying to go back to the past or come to the future, come to something in the future. And with this heart chakra, and it's showing me that the, they're, they're, they're wanting to touch and not touching because they're afraid that the heart's going to be broken um, again. But with the lover's card coming up, it's, it's, it's letting me know that there's that connection is going to be a divine connection. It's going to be something that is given and that's going to mend your heart. It's going to put you back into a better place, both mentally, physically, and emotionally. Um, with the Six of Pentacles, um, like I said, there will be gifts that will be coming to you out of the blue that'll be random. You'll be getting, you know, other different um, gifts from the divine that are going to help you come into fulfillment, into connection with this person. Um, I want a little bit more clarity on that Justice card and on the Six of Pentacles, if that's okay. Give me, where is my goddess deck? Spirit guys, give me some, some connection and some more deeper um, understanding on this justice card and on the six of pentacles card. Provide me some more clarity on what is going on with this justice card with their person, with the person that they are um, thinking about, the person that they're that is for them that's coming um, or their past person that they are currently dealing with. Why are we getting this justice card with their person? So, Rock, I can't respond to that right now, baby. But I got you. Oh, oh, that's... So, there's been some sleepless nights that you guys have been having with this justice card um, here. In tossing and turning, your person has not been able to sleep. Um, they have been up at night working on projects you know, practically in the dark, like where they, they, again, with that blinded energy that they were getting, um, with the eight, eight of wands before, excuse me, the eight of swords before, um, okay, so they were having some hermit energy where they, it seems, it seems as, as if they were ghosting you, but in reality, they were just trying to find themselves with the four of swords, they were trying to find balance, um, in themselves so that they could be better for you um, and be ready for you. Give me some more clarity on that. Yes, these are new beginnings. So there, this is going to be a new beginning mm -hmm. that's going to be coming into play for you. And you're going to be able to find this new person. At one point, you felt like you were done and over and couldn't take this anymore and like you were completely overwhelmed and drained and felt like you were left alone but you're not you're not left alone for those of you who are not dealing with the past person this new this new beginning is coming up and it may even be reconciliation with a, with the person that was from the past as well um but for those of you that are moving forward into something new this person is going to make you feel alive again this person is going to make you feel like you can breathe again um and I don't know why. There we go. Yes. 
So you guys got the Ace of Swords, uh, which means you had to cut a lot of people off. Um, and they, it was, it was, it wasn't necessarily you cutting them off, but it was divine connection where both you and the, and your person had to cut people off in order so that they can be ready for you. What is the six of pentacles? Give me some clarity on the six of pentacles, please. That was one too many cards, but that works. Okay. So they've, they've been working on um, journaling and they've been working on healing themselves and healing their heart. Um, but things are about to change very soon and very fast with this Knight of Cups. Your emotions are about to, start to, about to start pouring in and pouring out that communication, the conversation that I was talking about. Um, that it's going to open up some, some doors for you and them um, to be able to move forward. I'm, I'm also getting some spiral goddess energy coming on and I'm feeling, oh, what do you mean it won't let you back in? I'm so sorry. Um, let me see if I can tag you right quick. Let me see. All right. I just tagged you back, Sirach. Hopefully that lets you back in. Um, with this person, I apologize, you guys. Um, with the spiral goddess energy coming in, the spiral goddess is, is like is like your life um, and with pregnancy and things being birthed. Um, this is also, you know, our energy that we get when we are growing and making more progress. Um, you got the queen of pentacles, which is letting me know that money has been at the forefront for you for quite some time for your person. Um, and then they also received, um, the ace of pentacles as well with both that same energy. So with you guys getting this same energy twice, that means it makes me feel like you and your person, um, ha had been having money issues at one point in time, but things are moving around and, Gifts are coming, and these gifts are coming up from above high. Yes, the magician is here. It's letting you know that all of your resources are starting to come into alignment. And this, uh, again, Gemini energy. I don't know who in here is a Gemini or whose person is a Gemini, but honey, um, there has been some manipulation that was going on. There was trickery that were involved. Um, there, there was some lies and some deceit. But um, this this is all changing. This is all going better for the positive um, with this energy. And we got the knight again, the knight of wands again, which your thoughts are going to be what make th these things change. Stop thinking so negatively and thinking that they're not paying you attention or that they're ignoring you intentionally because they, they are just trying to become progressive so that they can be ready for you. They're trying to heal their heart. Yeah, there were a lot of people's opinions. They were like going back and forth with people um, about making a decision or making a choice. Um, and there they, they were multiple people that were attacking them um, as far as what with what they want to do or where they want to be. Like everybody's opinions does not matter because this, this is going to be you and this person's connection. And you and this person, whether it's a past person, which with this, I feel like this, this might have been the past person situation where you guys had like a break or um, a tear up because of what other people were saying and what other people were inputting in their relationship. Keep your private business to yourself. It is not none of their damn business, which y'all got going on at home, because if the more people that are in it, the more people that are going to be steering you away from what you're meant to have. So... Um, it's nothing wrong with having someone to vent to that you trust that is going to give. And yes, these cards just fell out. So that is right on time. Um, it's nothing wrong with you having friends or someone to vent to. But it is a major difference when everyone is backing you into a corner and they've got you feeling as if you're having to protect home and family um, from these people. And that means that these people don't care about your happiness. Because if they did, then they wouldn't be so much trying to fight against what you're wanting. Um, even if it's not what, what they feel like is right for you. The reason why I'm saying this is because when you get the Six of Wands, the Six of Wands is, 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 is about happiness with... 
um, wish fulfillment, receiving. Look at those children that are coming. She was so worried about what was going on in, in life. And well, you're welcome, Sarah, baby. She was very, very worried about what was going on in her circumstances and around her on the outside and feeling as if she was not being protected, but she is being protected and guided. With that six, there's this Gemini energy again. You also got the four of wands, which means that there's a time for celebration that is coming up. Um, weddings, engagements, um, uh, birthdays. There is a time of celebration that's going to be coming up and the celebration is going to be very important to the connection of you and this person. Give me two more cards on this situation, please. Give me two more cards on this situation. They gave me two cards. Yes, this is, you guys have been on a journey um, and, and your person was on a journey where they felt like they were by themselves and neglected um, and completely pushed away. But that's all about to change because this energy of the seven of wands, that means that they have options and opportunity um, to be able to kind of pick and choose what they really want to do and who they really want to be with. So if you stay patient and keep your mind open and your heart open with open and honest communication with how you're feeling, you're going to be ending up falling in to a, that celebration energy. Um, yes, the people that your spirits are, are watching over you, they're sending messages, they're providing messages, they've been giving you intuition, and you've probably even been having dreams, which is why you were waking up late at night and not feeling like you could get back to sleep. It's because the, the gods and the goddesses are providing you with insight right now. They're providing you with intuition. They play very close attention to music that you hear. Pay very close attention to songs that are repeatedly um, showing up, numbers that are repeatedly showing up, and look them up and see what those things mean. Um, because your intuition is right on key when it comes to the majority of this. Yes, masks are coming off. The, 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 look at this. This, mask, this lady's mask is all on the floor. Masks are coming off. You're starting to see people's true intentions and who they really are with this person. But you are going to have a divine union. It is going to be a divine union and partnership with this person that you've been thinking about. Um, I want to say that with, with some of you, it's going to be a past person. And with some of you, it's going to be someone brand stinking new. With that full card coming out, that was, that showed me a new beginnings. This, this full card is all about new beginnings. So whether you're starting over with someone from your past, this time around, things are going to work. If this is someone that's brand new, this is a brand stinking new beginning. And, and this is going to change your life. It's going to change your life. It's going to change your world. Watch what I tell you. By the end of April, the beginning, I say beginning, end of April, but coming into May, um, at the latest June, um, you're going to be having these new feelings because you're looking, you're looking into the, into your cups to see what you've got. You're looking to see what it is that you pulled about the sea. You know what I'm saying? All right, you guys, give me some ancestors. I'm gonna go ahead and pull some of our angel guardians and see what they have to say about your person. I don't really do a lot of these person reads because people are finicky, but I trust what my tarot cards tell me. I trust the spirit guides. And um, like I said, I saw a lot of Gemini and Taurus energy in this read. Um, so either the person that you're dealing with is a Gemini or a Taurus, or you are a Gemini or a Taurus. Um, there was also a little bit of Vertigo and Capricorn energy as well. And then with that Justice card, um, there was showing me a little bit of Libra, Libra energy also. So definitely check your Sun, Moon, and Rising so that you can know exactly um, what reads to watch. Um, I do also have a YouTube channel. I do free reads. As, I do um, reads that I charge for as well. Um, for personal reads, inbox me for that information. If you ever want to donate um, to my cause, inbox me and I will send you my cash app information so that that way you can donate to the readings if I have helped you at any point in time. Oh, yes. All right, let's go through these because this is all goodness. 
So like I told you, your money and their money is about to change. There's going to be a lot of abundance going on with this circumstance. Um, this says there, there are times when everyone needs a hand. Your angels want you to know that you shouldn't go through your current challenges alone um, and accept the help of those around you. Um, yeah, I'm a Capricorn too, babe. That's pretty cool. Um and it says the situation that you're experiencing is temporary. So all remember all that heartbreak that I was telling you about, all that those sleepless nights, you feeling like love ain't gonna never find you again. You ain't gonna like just feeling like the whole world is just fuck it, right? But you're at a point where these emotions, this this situation, this bad shit you're going through is temporary. This is not going to last. Coming through April and coming out of April, 2021 is going to be your year of abundance. I've seen nothing but pinnacles throughout all of this reading. And this person that, 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 that they're speaking of and that you're thinking about is going to be connecting with you and helping that abundance come into play. Um it's also telling me that right about now is not the time for you to completely quit your job and become self-employed. It's it, um, it's a, a situation of where you need to be patient. Use your job to be able to um, to be able to put in funds into what it is that your goal and your dream is. Um, and then that way, at that point in time, you will be able to quit your job at some point and move forward and be able to handle it with whatever business it is that you're trying to open up um, and you and this person. So this person may even be a partner. It may not even be a relationship person. This may be someone that you're bring you, you're manifesting in your life into so that you guys can become financially stable together and emotionally stable together. This, these are people that, it, and it could still be a relationship very well. So, but for those of you who aren't resonating with the relationship, for those of you that are at the place where I kind of am, is I'm, I'm, I'm working on me right now. And if something comes along, so be it. I'm not pushing myself into anything and I'm not letting nobody else push me into anything. Now is the time to, when you need to say no, say no, because that's what you've got to do in order to benefit yourself. It's telling you to remain patient. You've gotten this main patient and stay patient um, throughout this read for your person several times. So stop rushing this person and, and, and stop rushing the idea of this person coming into your life any faster than what they need to. Because when divine timing is going to be just that, it's going to be divine timing. It's not going to be, oh, I want this new boyfriend by June. Or I want this new girlfriend by June. You know, or I want this partner, this business partner, I want my business to go ahead and flourish so I can quit my job tomorrow. No, anything that's worth having takes time. Not only does it take time, but it takes patience. But you guys are, like I said, getting a lot of new beginnings because guess what? I got another new beginning card for you guys. And this one says, You're, you are at the beginning of a wonderful journey. There is no need to have any fear as guardian angels walk beside you every step of the way. You have very unique gifts to offer the world. If you will just free yourself from that which holds you back, which means stop self-doubting yourself, stop overly criticizing yourself, make a plan, make a detailed plan, write it down, read it every day so that that way you can keep pushing yourself to where you want to be with your goals. It's also telling you that new opportunities are going to just magically appear. They're going to uh, present themselves um, into your life. If you be truly believe this, if you truly manifest that, hey, new things are coming, tell yourself every day, my new beginning is coming. Yesterday was rough, but today's the new day. We're going to begin this day differently than we did yesterday. And we're going to end this day differently than we did yesterday. Every day is an opportunity for something better to happen. And for that to happen the next day and the next day. And as long as you continue to think that way and give yourself positive affirmations, they, you know, they have women's and men's affirmations all over YouTube that you can play every morning. At, I, I'm, I get up every morning an hour before I'm supposed to. And I read those affirmations. I take those affirmations so that I can go into a better day and not be blocking my blessings because that's what this is telling you with your new beginning card and telling you that you've got to truly believe this. You've got to make yourself believe that 
life is getting better. It's coming better. Um, and I promise you, I, I wouldn't be telling you anything that I don't see. These aren't messages that come from me. These are messages that are coming from the guys. And all I do is look at these messages and I tell you what I see and what, and, and, and what they're telling me. So, you know, so I promise you, I'm not saying anything that I'm trying to beat on you or anything. Cause trust me, baby, like I said, I'm bipolar. I got PTSD. You name it, we got it going on. But the thing is, is we cannot let these things be the things that block us from being who we're meant to be. We cannot stop our destiny. And sometimes we do by holding on to all that hurt, all those thoughts, those images, the 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 the, the phone calls and the text messages of the dumb shit. Ignore them. Do not respond to them, people. Do not respond to anything that is not benefiting you. If it's not giving you emotional satisfaction, mental satisfaction, financial, sexual satisfaction, leave that shit alone and let it go. Throw it out the window. You know, and I mean that because I'm going to tell you what I would tell myself. And that's just being real. And you guys also got the 10 of action. You guys are working too hard. You've thrown yourself into work thinking that if I throw myself into work, I won't have to deal with these battles. But baby, if you leave, just like if you leave a fire on your stove on and leave it unten- untended for too long, everything is going to go up in fucking flames. It's going to be the same way with your emotional baggage. If you don't take care of that and deal with it and work with your mental strain, your childhood things that you went through and work on these things yourself. If you do not work on these things, you will never have a prosperous business ship or a prosperous relationship because you're going to be battling yourself and they think you're battling them. You, you see what I'm saying? Like I and I and I mean that. Like cuz and I'm telling you what I've experienced, what I've gone through, also what these cards are telling me. So with your 10 of actions, it's telling you that you are working yourself too hard. These angels are asking you to find a healthy balance between your career and your personal life. Remember we talked about that with that 2 of pentacles. Where is she? So that I can show you what I'm talking about. Oh, goodness. I need her to show her face. There they are. Two of Pentacles. So this card is all about your Two of Pentacles. Where you are are, are trying to balance. Keep this image in your head. Because this is what you look like when you're overly working yourself. Instead of putting these scales at a, at a, at an equal level where you're giving just as much attention and affection to both your personal life and your work life. It's also telling me to let you know, um, that you do need to be willing to ask for help to lighten the load. You've been trying to get, do it, work everything and do everything by yourself rather than reaching out to someone that you trust and saying, Hey, can you go drop these, this off for me? Can you go run these errands for me? Can you go pick up this here video call me so that I can show you exactly what I'm, I'm asking for you to pick me up or to do. You see what I'm saying? So that you can trust that the divine guides are putting people in your life. They're going to be placing people and things in your life over these next couple of weeks that is going to put you in, in a place of, of, of abundance. And I'm talking about strong abundance because with, with these, with this, with this gift, and these six of pentacles and these gifts being given these are divine gifts this isn't this isn't something that someone is just oh girl i like you here i'm gonna do this no it's 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 the universe the universe is paying you back for all of that pain and hurt that you've gone through they're giving you this back they're get with this person and and like i said this could be either relationship person of, the, of this new person this can be a past relationship that you had broke up with somebody and think things should have been perfect but they weren't um and then now they're coming back but they're coming back and they're ready they're ready to to, to, to do this balance with you you know to try to help you with this work-life balance um it's also saying um, that you need to be able to lighten your load so that you can take better care of yourself um, and the, of your internal self. You've been neglecting yourself, like not look. I mean, girl, like not taking care of yourself to the way that you would normally take care of yourself if you weren't stressing and straining about this situation. And like I said, these cards are not gender specific. So this could be your man. This could be your woman. This could be your best friend. You know, this could be someone that you thought that was really in your corner. And at one point they turned their back on you and ghosted you, but they ghosted you because you had not done the work on yourself 
and had been pushing that energy off on them without even knowing it, without even knowing it. You didn't even know that you was doing the things that you was doing, but you're learning that. That's what that seven of swords was about, was you taking those lessons and carrying, carrying the lessons away versus the burdens. You see what I'm saying? Um, it's also telling me um, that you, you've you been straining so hard to make other people happy that it's been affecting your health. You've been becoming depressed. You've been becoming sick and sad. Um, your blood pressure has been up. You've been having trouble, again, sleeping. That's been a, a consistent thing with your read is that you've been having issues with, 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 with your sleep. But guess what? You got good news are coming, baby, because there is a happy change coming up in your life. And look at that. Do you see that? I don't know if you're about to have some children, have a whole whole sit down, that whole family aspect. Things are going to be changing and growing, and it's going to be a happy change. Um, it says that your angels have heard your prayers and have banded together to create real and joyful changes in your life. Get, events will begin to move forward and great progress will now be possible. You will make, excuse me, I apologize. You may need to make some rapid decisions due to the suddenness of, of this activity. Um, be very confident and trust your guidance and trust the guidance that you receive. Be confident in your decisions because, again, your intuition right now is on point. So trust it. Believe in it. Don't let it scare you um, because this these changes are coming. Like, they're going to be coming fast, almost like overnight. You know how they be like, oh, this dude just, like, became a millionaire overnight. And in reality, it wasn't really an overnight thing. It's just that the blessings became overnight. That they, they went through some things. They worked really hard to get to where they had to go. And then those blessings started coming out and spilling out overnight. And that's what's about to happen with you. This, with this happy change card that you received. You know, I look at that card almost like it's it's the Ten of Cups, but better. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And so I've got I'm gonna pull some more cards. I'm gonna pull three more cards. Um three or four more cards. Because my lunch is almost over. But I know that these people ain't done talking to me. Oh, goodness. I heard somebody is catty. Like, you've been somebody that, somebody acts really catty with you. Um, and when I say catty, I mean, like, they're, 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 they're sometiming. Like, they... They, one day they're giving you all the attention under the sun, and then the next day it's like you don't even exist. Um, so I don't know who that was for. Like I said, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Throw the shit out the window. If it ain't for you, it ain't for you. There's some stuff that will definitely be for you, and then there's some stuff that is for other people that are watching. So whatever's here for you, take it. Um, I will be reposting this video on my YouTube. So for those of you who came in late, um, I will also put in my comments. Or so, Rock, if you can, um, since you know my YouTube, can you please put my YouTube in the comments for me since I can't do it right now, please? So that they can go back and watch that for anybody who did not catch the full reading or the beginning. Because this is this one was a good one. And I don't want anybody not getting what they need. All right, let's go through these Archangel cards right quick. Before they be looking for me at work like I done ran off on my Friday. Because today is my Friday. So every day this week I am going to be coming on and I'm doing um, two times a day um, readings for you guys. So... This is what I'm giving up for the free free. Um, you're capable of donating to my channel if you would like to donate to my channel or to what I have done or if I've resonated and helped you in any way. You can definitely donate. I will and send me an inbox um, and I will give you my cash app. I do not do that over the post because I don't trust people. So, yeah, something I'm working on. <laughs> Um, you guys, oh shit, you guys got the 10 of Ariel. Um, weren't we just talking about these 10s? There's going to be some, some, some cool, cool, cool com completion coming in for you guys, like financial completion. You're going to be feeling whole again really soon. Please let the stuff that I'm, that meant that works for you and that resonates for you take it, please, because some of this stuff is, is directly for you. And they, with the 10 of Ariel, 
It says that there there is so much to be grateful for right now um, and that financial success and the promise of retirement is is coming, um, which I, I take that as, a, a, um, you know, a, a promise of you going to a, in a new direction in a job where it's like a promotion um, or where it is you guys going into um, some type of financial connection um, and partnership. And that partnership is going to be giving you more and more to be grateful for. So be grateful for the things that you have now. Utilize the resources that you have now so that that way in these next couple of weeks when these things start rushing at you and these blessings start coming to you, that you'll be able to go ahead and accept it back and do what needs to be done. Um, and there, there, there's a rewarding um, family life that's going to be coming around. So there, there's with this, you guys, if you see that they, these ladies are sitting here sipping on their tea and them kids is back there happy and playing, you know, that, that child, that childhood hurt that you were holding on to, let all that go because y'all are about to be starting to rebuild some new bonds with new people that are going to be your new family. They're going to feel like family. So it's going to be rich and rewarding family life. So that work and home balance is going to be very important to you making to this new step, okay? Making it to this next place. Um, you also got the fourth, um, the four, the emperor again, um, but in a different deck. This deck is um, with the, the emperor is represented by the archangel Uriel. So you can definitely look that up. I will put the card closer so that you could read it if you need to or screenshot. Um, and this is going to be talking about bringing stability into your life and making your life more efficient. Um, and it's time for you to now start taking charge of the, of your situations and making very ambitious plans. Remember, I told you, you need to make very detailed plans right now. So there's going to be some very ambitious plans that'll be going on, um, that you need to sit down and deal. Um, but this, this whole situation is going to be, this person, um, is going to be bringing stability and efficiency into your life. You also got the six of Gabriel, and it definitely, I want to tell you welcome and congratulations because you have been doing a wonderful job fighting. You have been doing a wonderful job trying to work and get yourself where you need to be, but now it's time for you to move on to the next project. Now it's time for you to, to, to focus on, on, on the accolades that you've received and the recognition that you've re been receiving from both work and home. And then also, um, I see that there's scholarship applications um, that you need to apply for. Um, there are promotions that are coming from work. I just told y'all that. Um, but you got this going on. It's time for you to start planning for that next move. Um, and then uh, with the fifth of, f uh, excuse me, five of Ariel, it it's telling you that everything happens for a reason and for you to release all of that regret and embrace the new opportunities for happiness that are going to be coming into your life and look for the silver lining. I always tell you, and anybody who watches my reads, I, I say this all the time because I, I, it's something I truly believe that bad things happen for great reasons. We just have to see what that great reason is and be patient enough to get to that great reason to understand why that bad thing had to affect us the way that it did. So we definitely need to focus on the silver lining. I am going to pull... Where is it? I know I brought them out here. There they are. I'm going to give you guys um, three Psalms cards as well, but I'm going to pull two of our ancient um, ancestors and angels cards as well right quick. And then this is going to conclude the read because, honey, it is time for me to go back to work. Ah, okay. Okay. Give me one more card, please, angels and ancestors, guidance, guardians. We ask that you come. We welcome you here now. Welcome your spirits and your presence for clarity. Uh, okay. So you've got the shapeshifter card, which is telling you to transform. Form and unveil your gifts. You, I told you before that you've got the gifts to be able to make magic happen. You've got the gifts that you need to, to achieve these dreams and these goals that you want. And it's just a matter of transforming yourself and being able to um, bring yourself to your, your purest self and your highest power. And you're also being told to set your sights on higher goals. Um, connect yourself with source. Connect yourself. With, if you believe in God, connect yourself with God. If you believe in the spirits and the goddesses, connect yourself with, with your with your um, supreme 
um, God, goddess or spirit or goddess um, so that you can be able to become start becoming at one with your entire circumstance. I am going to leave you guys with a couple of quotes from the Psalms, um, which is my favorite, one of my favorite books in the Bible. But I love these cards because they help me stay grounded. And even on the days that I forget to read my Bible, I, um, or that I was praying and, and manifesting or chanting or doing something different that day, um, these Psalms cards give me quotes and phrases from verses and then I go back and I read these verses and sometimes it helps give insight with what the tarot read was giving me as well so all right um so it says I meditate on your name all night God treasuring your revelation oh God this is Psalms 119 55 it's one of my favorite This is going to be Psalms 25, 21, and it says, my integrity and uprightness preserve me. I wait for you. Remember I told you to keep playing, um, or well, on my earlier read today for the general read, um, I was telling you guys that your integrity is going to be very important. Playing and winning the right way is going to take you and lead you to where you need to be. It says, the Lord is good to all, and his tender mercies are all over his works. That is Psalms 145 and 9. So I'm going to leave you guys with those. Um, again, I am going to put my YouTube channel in the um, comment section. I'm also going to repost this on my YouTube channel for those of you who missed the beginning. And... Your number card today is going to be compassion. Please have compassion for yourself and compassion for your person. I wish you guys the best. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, let me know if this resonated for you. Please comment below or inbox me. I'm always very responsive with my inboxes. I hope you have a blessed day. And I will be back later on tonight about 1030 um, is what I'm going to say. Um, so that that way we can, um, actually do a different type of read today where I'm going to be asking, letting people ask questions and I'm going to just pull cards for them in that question. Okay. So, all right, you guys, uh, thanks for being with me. Of course, I am signing out. This is Kat the Empress. I thank you so much for all of your affection, love and energy. And I send my love and care and hugs to you guys. I love you. Remember, I love you. I love you. I love you. I'm signing out.